Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel where it is all about racing. I'm Mark, and today I'm going to guide you through a purchase I made of eBay on a 118 scale. Yes, you heard that right. This is a 118 scale car. I know, I know, all I collect is 143, and you're right, I do. This is only the third 118 scale car that I've ever purchased, ever. Uh, as I mentioned, just got this recently. This is a Red Bull Racing Honda. RB16B, the winner of Monaco, Grand Prix in 2021, Max Verstappen. Obviously, you can see the figure there. Absolutely nicely done. Folks, this is an absolutely gorgeous model. Uh, it, it was extremely heavy despite being made of resin because the base is massive and the base is heavy as hell. The box itself is absolutely massive. You can see that in the background there. Really nicely done. Red Bull Racing. I am told this is part of Sparks Collector's Edition. Uh, the box has no viewing open. It's completely sealed on both ends. It does come with this really uh, a big jewel cover you can see on top there. Uh, but really, really nice work. Uh, when I saw this on, on eBay, I, I saw one of Lewis Hamilton, very similar to this, and the, builds, the bids were going up to $1,000 for it. I picked this up, believe it or not, yes, for $150. I kid you not. Literally half price which is probably a good thing because when I received it, there were a number of parts of it that were broken. And we'll talk about that in a minute. First, we'll take a look at the car. Now, here's a cool look at it from the front. Uh, and you notice I've got that the firm insert under the, the front wing. The front wing was, was one of the parts that was broken. It was not attached to the car. Um, and I have that foam insert, which it is packaged with under there to support it because I just re-glued it literally before making this, uh, th this video. So, uh, so you're seeing that now, and as you can see, they did a really nice job on the front wing. I mean, look at the details. Uh, all of the uh, the four parts of it, they are perforated. You know, this is a Spark model, so details abound on it. It is absolutely magically and beautifully done. Very, very sharp. Really good looking. Mobile One on the, the end pieces of it. The nose of the car is really phenomenal. Look at the carbon fiber parts that wrap around under it that go under the uh, suspension work. Little winglets, I guess you could call them right there. I'm not exactly sure what you call those little things. The suspension work is complicated. It is nicely done. This was another one of the parts of the car that was broken. This on the rear. And the pitot tube that you see right up there. Um, uh, you know, the, if you're familiar with the pitot tube, it is this little contraption here. It measures airspeed. You'll find these on a lot of cars. Uh, every Formula One car and a lot of the sports cars uh, that I've pointed out to you that I've showed you have those on it. The wheel detail, as you would expect from Spark, is absolutely phenomenal. Huge Pirelli tires. You can see the uh, remember brakes there, the brake rotors, the brake pads, uh, the lug nuts, the, the one lug nut that you have on it. Comes with this cool BWB, you know, Formula One leaderboard number one, and this absolutely amazing figure of Max Verstappen. Guys, this is really, really sharp. I mean, take this in. It <laughs> This is pretty cool. This is modeling at its finest. Uh, very, very impressive. And I'm going to show you a lot of different angles of, of the figurine. Uh, it is a separate piece that just fits tightly in the cockpit there. And I'm probably going to display it very, very carefully because if he falls off, he could break one of those antennas that are on the front of the car. Uh, as I mentioned, it came in three pieces. Uh, the, the other piece being one of the rear uh, suspension pieces and, and the wheel itself. But there's a cool look at Max from that side. I mean, just uh, the detail work is just absolutely amazing. The finish of the car is flat black, and you can see all the carbon fiber pieces and the amazingly uh, well-done perfect trims. You can see another part of it that's broken here. Uh, again, I think this was due to shipping. You can see that little part there that uh, was broken on. As I mentioned, this thing got, got battered uh, during shipping, and I'm surprised that, uh, uh, that this is the least bit of the damage that I've seen on it. But very, very impressive. Here's a cool look at it from the top side, looking down on it. Again, we'll zoom in a little bit. Here's a cool look at Max's helmet. Pull around here. They did a really nice job with the figurine. I, I think that's particularly impressive. Uh, the helmet is exactly as described. You can see the, the Hans device around his neck that he's still got on there. As you come back here, you take a look at it. Really, really cool. I mean, absolutely beautiful. The attention to detail is phenomenal, guys. Uh, this is a really striking model. 
And here's a cool look at it from the rear. There is a little plate there that notes that there were 500 of these made, this being 243 of those. And look at that exhaust tube. It is just absolutely menacing looking. Uh, you can see the running light there, the suspension, really nicely done in carbon fiber. Now this wheel over here, this one that I'm pointing at, this was the one that was broken. It was sh sheared literally off, off, off the front of this thing. Um, it was a mess. It was bouncing around the box, scared the hell out of me. Really good job on the rear wing that they did there. Let me bring, take a look around. We'll get a closer look at that. And you, know, you can see the little device there that opens it up when they have drag reduction done on it. And there's a cool look at the exhaust parts. I mean, just <laughs> absolutely amazing, guys. There's a look at Max. Let's take a look at him from the back, too. There's a good look at him from the rear. You can see all the shit in my office there in the corner, all the pictures and posters that I have. You can see that <laughs> I just don't have room for them on the walls, so they sit on the floor. The black thing you see there is the, uh, that, 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 that black container there, that is the, uh, the second roof for my Corvette. I have a clear one and then one that's carbon fiber. There's a cool look at this thing again. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, it did come in a bunch of pieces, and I've noticed even more damage uh, since I've opened it and showed it to you guys with this camera. More than I saw that apparently I fixed. I mean, there were literally three parts, of, three pieces I had to glue back together. So, uh, what are my recommendations? If you want a really, really cool model, I mean, this is just an amazing job. It's a really neat uh, model by Spark. I'm not sure I would pay full retail for it. Uh, one of the reasons is because this model is so heavy, I don't care how you package it, it is likely to break in shipping. And the reason I say that is because the base of it is wood. And one thing I criticize many champs for are the really shitty bases that they have. But if I was going to buy a 118 scale model, I'd probably rather get, particularly if it's going to be shipped to me, as virtually everything is, because I, I can't buy this, you know, these things anywhere at home. Um, I think when it gets bounced around, you know, from one handler to another, it is so stiff and the parts of it are so fragile, they just break under stress. Uh, and I'm amazed that, that was all that was broken when I got this thing. So my recommendation would be, unless you can pick this thing up in person, don't buy a Spark 118 model. Um, as, as cool as they are, uh, I just, you know, this is my first experience with it and I'm not sure I'll have it again, you know, because... Uh, Quite frankly, I can get this one model on 143 scale. In fact, I did get one of, uh, of Lewis Hamilton, very similar to this. It's absolutely gorgeous BBR model. Um, but, you know, this was just really cool. Uh, the, the detail was was so phenomenal on it. Uh, and I, I really don't blame the shipper, or not the, not the shipper, but the retailer, because, you know, he did his best uh, with this. This is just some of the things that happen. Uh, and sometimes we have to just deal with it and fix it. And we did. But I honestly think... Now, because these bases are so heavy, it does uh, make us susceptible to damage. So I wouldn't particularly recommend this unless you're a competent model modeler, even better than me at fixing things, because you will likely have to fix some things as they are liable to come broken. But as you can see, it's a phenomenal model. It'll be a great presentation uh, piece to put here in my room. Uh, you can see that there. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. I really think this is something special I wanted to share with you. We'll see you next time.